Hey guys! So today's video is gonna be my January 2017 favorites. I have one. What is this? I have one random product, but the rest are pretty much makeup and beauty related. Stating the obvious, my hair is up right now and I have a bandana. I wasn't about to wet my hair today, I just really didn't feel like it. And I shampoo my hair every day and I thought I'd give it a break today because I wasn't sweating or anything. So I thought today was the perfect day not to shampoo it. So I just put dry shampoo. And I'm sorry if it bothers you or if you think it looks horrible as much as I do think it's horrible because... Yeah, I just was not about to do anything with my hair today, so I hope you guys don't mind. Anyway, if you want to know the products I've loved and loved and loved for the past month, then keep watching. I'm just quickly gonna throw this in here because I totally forgot to include this in my Divisoria haul. Napaka lame, but it's this super cute headband that I bought for 50 pesos sa Divisoria. Na pag natutulog ka, pwede mong inagay para yung hair mo is not on your face. Or before you're doing your makeup, this is such a cute little thing. I bought this last December, but I've been using it so much, I don't even know why I didn't include it in the haul, but. Nonetheless, I thought I should include it in my favorites because it is a favorite. It's so weird, but it looks super cute on. I promise that to you. So, yeah. For the month of January, I've totally been obsessed with the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero, I think. This is this is the extra big tub. I think this is the original variant. They have other variants you can check out if you want. But I just have the pink one. The reason why I love this is a little bit goes a long way. You... By the way, you get a spatula. But here's the product, and I've been using it so much this month. Because I didn't have a regular liquid makeup remover, ko, and I find that it does really remove everything except um, waterproof hair with make mascara. I like to use the mascara remover that comes with hair with make. Everything else, I find that this actually perfectly removes. It removes probably like 90-95% of my makeup and it just melts right in the skin. When I rub this product on my face, I feel like it actually gets everything. After I use the balm, I typically use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Now I've had this for forever and it's a huge um, bottle right here and I love this just to double clean, you know, after Nagamit ka ng balm. I love to use this to clean the remaining makeup afterwards. And also, I want to mention since this is medyo oily siya, diba? Since it's a balm, medyo oil yung type niya. It may leave you with an oily residue. So, I typically like to go with the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water just to go over. And after it, my skin feels refreshed. Alam mo yung tipong, hindi siya oily kasi tubig lang, water lang naman to. But it gets everything else off. And together, before I actually go ahead and clean my skin with the cleansing foam, I use these to remove my makeup and my makeup just 100% removed. I'm so satisfied with these two used together. I love these both. Okay guys, I have three foundations to show you. I've been using these three foundations a lot this month. To be honest, I love them all the same, but if uh, I guess I love this the best. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now, I have a lot of shades of this. The only problem that I have with this is the color selection. I bought like four shades initially and right then and there I knew nothing matched. So my shade is soft beige and I have soft ivory. I typically mix these two together to get my exact shade because I find that soft beige is a little too dark and soft ivory is a little too light. Now everything else about this foundation is flawless. These, oh my golly. First of all, I love the packaging. It's just very sleek. For me, lang ha, it's the best na foundation na nagawa ng L'Oreal so wet and wild not L'Oreal but wet and wild so far coverage is medium to full depending on how much you put it of course if you put less than a pea size it's gonna be like light to medium if you put more than a pea size it's gonna kind of build up to full so it really depends on how much you put but I can build this up to full coverage no problem I love the finish it's matte but not a flat matte I hate the flat matte finish in a foundation and I feel like this just gives me the perfect natural finish it leans more on the matte side which is totally fine because I have oily combination skin but it doesn't look too flat na parang, oh girl, you have a bad foundation on. No, it looks so good. Like, it just looks so good. And the kind of good that I cannot explain. It lasts all day. It hides the pores. It makes me look poreless. It's one of those foundations that really just um, covers the pores really well. It looks good on the nose. I say I personally have blackheads on the nose. And this just covers it perfectly. It doesn't cling onto the blackheads. It doesn't cling onto the dry patches that I have. And it's just an all-around great, long-lasting foundation. I haven't 
tried it on all sorts of lighting but I've tried it on natural light I've tried it with flash it looks great with flash so I just special place this definitely has a special place in my heart I love these and the only thing is the shade selection I'd mention off like you probably will have to buy like a couple shades but if you of course get your shade right then amazing other than that I think this foundation is perfect on its own it's beautiful the next two foundations kind of go hand in hand I want to mention the essence pure nude makeup oh my gosh this foundation looks beautiful on natural days on days where you don't want too much makeup you don't want too much coverage you just want the perfect base like to even out your skin tone I think the essence pure nude makeup my shade is in pure sand is amazing I did see Kathy Nice's haul mentioning this and she said this oxidized and I was like oh my gosh it actually does. What's funny was I didn't really realize it oxidized not until I saw Kathleen's video and then I tried it out again because I've been trying this um before she posted the haul and I loved it. I realized ko lang na nag-oxidize nga to nung nakita ko yung haul niya. So that was a bummer. The LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation came in handy like these two together amazing. Nalight niya yung shade nito. And he needed to go oxidize sa akin. But the best thing, it didn't really alter the finish or the coverage of the Essence Pure Nude makeup. By the way, this is light to medium co light coverage. Pero ayun nga, hindi niya na alter yung coverage ng Essence Pure Nude. And together, amazing for every day, amazing for days when you just like want to even out your skin. You don't want like full cakey foundation. This is a type of foundation you wear every day to office, to school, to work not for events because I think it's beautiful for every day and I just love it and it's affordable it's from the brand Essence I think you need to check this out if you're in the same skin tone as me I think you should definitely pick up the LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation this is amazing to mix in with any foundation that might be too dark for you it just saves your light it just makes you not worry about not having the right shade did that make sense? Yeah, but something. Yeah, hindi ka na magworry na mali yung shade na foundation ng bibili mo if you have this. So I think both of these pretty amazing. Going hand in hand with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, their powders, their powders, <laughs> amazing. These are beautiful. These are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus pressed powders. I have Warm Light and Neutral Buff. Oh my gosh, I use this like almost every day you guys you know i love a product when it looks gross that's how you know i love a product and this looks gross after a month of using it i for sure can say this is my favorite drugstore powder it has definitely replaced my elf beautifully bare powder because that's always sold out i can't get my hands on it i finished one already and the grosso marie purchase because it's not sold out so i was looking for alternatives and i think i found one in this it might be even better because the texture of this powder is unlike any other drugstore powder I have touched. It's so, 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 so smooth. I mean, like, smooth, like you're touching butter. It is insane. It's like so smooth and thin. Air light yung texture niya parang. You almost think like there's not any product that's being applied because it's that thin. But actually hitting your face, may coverage naman, meron namang powder na andon. It also blocks my pores. It also makes me look poreless. It's that kind of beautiful finish. But it makes me look poreless but not flat. Kasi di ba pag powders na nakaka-minimize ng pores, minsan, of course, matte siya, flat matte. But this has like a subtle, the most subtle glow na medyo undetectable. But you know what's there. Like your face doesn't look flat matte. It looks like it's alive, like it's set but alive. It doesn't make you look dry. It doesn't make you look um, too matte, too powdery, too like flat. No, it just gives that super subtle, almost undetectable glow that is beautiful. Very, very natural. If the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural had a baby, it would be this. This is as smooth, if not smoother, than my Charlotte Tilbury. And it gives like the same kind of effect as the MAC MSF. And I just love this. I think for like however much it costs. Um, it just, it's beautiful. And I think, again, for the price. <sighs> this is gold right here. This is definitely a gem in the drugstore. Like you need this powder. Even if you have like 20 other powders, you need this powder in your life. That's how good this is. And it's just, I... <sighs> Some good stuff right here, guys. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder is it's gold. It's gold. 
if you came from my 2016 affordable favorite, then you know my all-time favorite concealer is the Sims Cover Tip Perfection Concealer, which is the liquid one. And so I was curious to see if their pot concealer, it's called the Cover Perfection Pot Concealer from the same. It's the S-A-E-M because a lot of you guys have been asking me kung sa kung the same. It, you can get it from Shopee. I get mine from Shopee. I get mine from Goriana PH. So if you're wondering where I get my the same. So this is the same pot concealer. So I was intrigued. I had to give it a try because of course I loved their liquid one. And so I did and I, I can't say that this is just as good as the liquid one. I think I found my perfect pot concealer that is like creamy. I freaking adore this stuff. I've been breaking out quite a lot. So whenever I have a breakout, I use a spot conceal ko muna using the spot concealer with a concealer brush. So lalagay ko muna sa breakouts ko kung I have a breakout here. Then I will put that there. And then afterwards, I go in with my foundation. So that way, it, it's still like one tone. Al hindi siya magumokang dalawa yung kulay na may ibang patch ng concealer jet and may ibang patch ng foundation. So I spot conceal with this and it just like literally covers everything, the redness of my face. And again, it doesn't look cakey. It just looks seamless. It's so inexpensive. I think I bought mine for 300 something. And for a pot concealer, that's not bad at all, you guys. If you're looking for a concealer that won't break the bank but has the most insane amount of coverage, you have to go for the same end you need in your life. Their stuff is so underrated. So I'm raving about them right now so that I hopefully you guys check it out because bomb diggity, I'm telling you. I have found new eyebrow companions this month. These are the BH Cosmetics. Studio Pro HD Brow Pencils. I love these so much! And I think they're definitely 100% dupes of the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I also really like, but that's expensive. My whole shot. That's ridiculous to pay 1,000 plus pesos on a brow pencil that you're probably gonna pretty much use up in a month. So I just didn't really purchase it, not because I didn't like it, but because it was just way out of my budget for an eyebrow pencil. So I had to look for alternatives and I found one. I'm speaking too fast, aren't I? I found one in the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencils. They are the same thing. They're just the same thing. I honestly just don't have anything else to say except they're the same thing as a Brow Wiz. So if you have tried the Brow Wiz, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, they're basically the product itself is very, very fine, which makes it easier for you to draw thin lines, thicker lines. If you want a crisp tip to brows, you can definitely totally do that with these because again very thin and very fine yung product niya unlike some chubbier pencils that i'm usually used to i like these when i just want more precision i usually would outline my eyebrows with this so basically just lining yung edge my eyebrows go and then filling it in using my minnesota eyebrow pencil and then that's literally what i do for my eyebrows or i would use these on their own and they just work beautifully. I know that the Brow Wiz by Anastasia has a lot of dupes now, but this is one to check out if you want a cheaper alternative to NYX Micro Brow. I think the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil is just as good. I have been using these bad boys this month so much, like almost every day, that I had to give them a shout out because I nearly forgot about them and I was like, no, you need to be, you need to be known. You need to be known. They're great stuff. Guys, it's smelling like peaches in here because... Oh my god. Mm, I want to eat some gummy right now. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. What can I say? I love this palette. Like, I'm obsessed with this palette. Hopefully, you get an idea of how the color selection looks like. I have a lot of reasons why I love this palette. And I'm going to break it down for you guys so that you know. It's a really good palette. First, of course, yung amoy niya. Amoy peach siya. If you're sensitive to smell, then I don't think you're going to like this. But personally, I have a sweet tooth. It smells like gummy candy. And I'm obsessed with gummy candies. Uh, it smells like peaches and I'm obsessed with peach. It tastes like peach. I've tried this already. I've eaten an eyeshadow and it, it's sweet. It tastes like peach so that makes it even more amazing. I can eat this. Kidding aside, the quality of this palette is really good. Honestly, this is my favorite bar thing that Too Faced has released. I know everyone loves the chocolate bar palette but I personally prefer the sweet peach palette. I'm just gonna say. I feel like you can do so much looks with these. You can do neutrals, you can do warms, you can do like really smoky purpley colors or looks with these and I just think it's such a versatile palette. The shade Luscious, oh my golly, is like one of the prettiest 
champagne rosy shades I've ever tried in my life and one of the best ones. Shades are pretty consistently good, buttery, really nice quality. I think it's such a great addition to the Too Faced eyeshadow collection. And for me, personally, this is the best one they have released so far. I love it so much. Packaging goal. Packaging goals, guys. Everything goes. I only have two lip products this month. Narrowed it down to my top two favorites, and both are from ColourPop. First, I have their Matte X Lippy Sticks in the shade Hotline. It's a beautiful peachy pinky nude shade that's not borderline nude. It's got some color. It's not going to wash out the lips. I really like the undertone. It's peach. I really like peachy, warmer undertones. I think they look the best on me personally. So again, for every day, ito yung pinaka nasuot ko this month. I really love the Matte X formulation. I think they're great. And especially Hotline, the shade Hotline, is a pretty everyday color. And then I have their Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Monday. Leans towards the pinky mauve side of things, but still nonetheless beautiful. It's a bit darker than Hotline, but it just looks stunning. I think it looks flattering also for every day. So means gusto ko na medyo... This lipstick na ka plump lang siya ng lips mo kung Kylie Jenner gumagaling yung lips mo kasi medyo ano siya mas dark yung color niya but still nonetheless it's a pretty everyday shade honestly I found a huge improvement in ColourPop matte lips like lippy liquids I think na oh, ultra matte lips sorry um I feel like naman nag-improve sila and I think na ColourPop does it right every time with the shades and Monday is such a nice shade. Even for every day, it's so pretty and rosy and just beautiful and I love it. I'm trying to see if I missed anything out and it seems like I didn't. So, medyo onti lang this month kasi medyo lilo muna tayo. Yung muna bumain ng sobrang daming makeup. Anyway, that completes my January favorites. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with what I do, then follow me on my social media accounts always listed down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thumbs up this video. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye!